Welcome to the very first episode of What Is. This is a show for the curious. If you've ever looked up at the stars and thought, what's really going on out there? Or heard about AI, the metaverse, or quantum physics and thought, uh, wait, what does that actually mean? You're in the right place. Here at What Is, we take big questions and break them down into something clear, visual, and hopefully a bit mind expanding. Each episode, we dive into one of five core areas, science and technology, philosophy and psychology, art and culture, history and society, and those wild abstract ideas that keep us up at night. Whether you're a lifelong learner or just starting to explore the world a little deeper, we're glad you're here. So hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, and let's kick off this journey together. We've got a whole universe of questions ahead. And it all starts right now. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Now, let's dive into today's topic in science and technology, quantum physics. Prepare to enter a realm where the everyday rules of physics seem to break down, a place where the impossible becomes possible. In our everyday world, things behave in a way that makes sense to us. A ball thrown into the air follows a predictable path. An apple falls from a tree due to gravity. But in the quantum world, the world of the very small, atoms, electrons, photons, things get weird. The rules are different, and our intuition can lead us astray. Quantum physics didn't emerge overnight. It was the result of decades of research and discovery by brilliant minds who dared to question the established laws of physics. It all started with Max Planck, a somewhat reluctant revolutionary. In 1900, he was struggling to understand the behavior of light emitted from hot objects. Classical physics, with its smooth and continuous energy, just couldn't explain it. In a moment of desperation, he proposed a radical idea that energy is not continuous but comes in discrete packets called quanta. Think of it like stairs instead of a ramp. You can only be on one step at a time, not halfway between. This was a wild idea, but it worked. And it laid the foundation for the entire field of quantum mechanics. One of the key principles of quantum mechanics is superposition. This means that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states or locations simultaneously. It's like that ball we saw earlier being in multiple places at the same time, until we actually look at it. The very act of observing or measuring a quantum particle forces it to choose one state. This is known as wave function collapse. This might sound like science fiction, but it's a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics. Think of light. Sometimes it behaves like a wave, like ripples in a pond. Other times it behaves like a stream of particles, like tiny bullets of energy. This is known as wave-particle duality, and it's one of the mind-bending concepts that makes quantum mechanics so fascinating. The idea of wave-particle duality was cemented by the brilliant mind of Albert Einstein. His fascination about Planck's idea of quanta helped him to explain another phenomenon the photoelectric effect. In 1905, he took the bold step of reimagining light, not as a continuous wave, but as tiny energy packets called photons. This revolutionary idea would forever change our understanding of light and energy. Imagine shining a flashlight on a metal surface, expecting electrons to jump out just because the light is brighter. That's what scientists once believed should happen. But in reality, no matter how bright the light was, if it wasn't the right color or frequency, Nothing happened. It was like knocking on a locked door with all your strength, but using the wrong key. Einstein realized that each photon carries a fixed amount of energy. If a photon has enough energy, it can knock an electron loose from the metal, like a perfectly aimed billiard ball hitting another. But if the energy is too low, no matter how many photons you throw at the metal, the electrons stay put. This discovery shattered the old ideas of light and helped kickstart quantum mechanics. His breakthrough was so profound that it earned him the Nobel Prize in physics in 1921. More importantly, it laid the foundation for modern technologies like solar panels, digital cameras, and fiber optic communication, shaping the world we live in today. Speaking of Einstein, it would be impossible not to mention Niels Bohr, with whom Einstein not only engaged in public debates on quantum physics, famously known today as the Bohr-Einstein debates, but also, despite their disagreements, shared a sincere friendship. 
1913, Bohr was trying to make sense of the atom. He knew about electrons, and he knew about the nucleus. But how did they fit together? He imagined electrons whizzing around the nucleus like planets around the sun. But with a quantum twist, he proposed that electrons could only occupy specific energy levels, or orbits, like lanes on a highway. And when an electron absorbed or emitted light, it was a specific amount, a quantum of energy, that caused it to jump between these orbits. This model helped explain the discrete nature of atomic spectra and further solidified the quantum nature of the atom. The quantum revolution was in full swing. Another discovery that became one of the key concepts in quantum mechanics is the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Werner Heisenberg, a young and ambitious physicist, inspired by Einstein's wave-particle duality, stated that you can't know both the position and momentum of a quantum particle with perfect accuracy. The more precisely we measure one property, the less we know about the other. It's like trying to catch a fly in a dark room. The harder you try to grab it, the more likely it is to slip away and for you to lose track of its movement. This uncertainty principle shook the foundations of classical physics, showing that there were fundamental limits to what we could know about the universe. And in this roundabout way, fitting for quantum mechanics, we arrive at the cat in the box. Although Erwin Schrödinger is widely associated with the famous thought experiment featuring a cat as the main subject, presenting the paradox that explores the strange nature of superposition, where a cat in a box can be both alive and dead at the same time, until the box is opened. He is far more highly regarded in the scientific community for the so-called Schrödinger equation. This equation describes how quantum systems evolve over time and is still used by physicists today to understand the behavior of atoms and molecules. It would be unfair not to discuss the theory of entanglement now, a term coined by Schrödinger himself and first discussed by him in 1932. Imagine two particles linked together in such a way that they are intrinsically connected, no matter how far apart they are. If you change the properties of one particle, the other particle instantly changes as well, even if they are billions of miles apart. This instantaneous connection seems to defy the laws of physics as we know them. Entanglement has profound implications for our understanding of the universe and has the potential to revolutionize technology. Scientists are exploring its applications in areas like quantum computing, quantum cryptography, and even teleportation. Speaking of quantum computing, this is another area where the strangeness of the quantum world is being harnessed to create incredibly powerful machines. While traditional computers use bits, which can be either zero or one, quantum computers use qubits. Thanks to superposition, a qubit can be zero, one, or both at the same time. This allows quantum computers to perform calculations at speeds that would be impossible for even the most powerful supercomputers. Quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize fields like medicine, materials science, and artificial intelligence. It could lead to the development of new drugs and materials, solve complex optimization problems, and even help us understand the fundamental laws of the universe. Quantum mechanics also allows for a phenomenon called quantum tunneling. Imagine a ball rolling up a hill. Classically, if the ball doesn't have enough energy to reach the top, it will roll back down. But in the quantum world, there's a chance that the ball could tunnel through the hill and appear on the other side. This is because in the quantum realm, particles don't have definite positions. They exist as probabilities. And there's always a small probability that a particle can be found in a location it's not supposed to be. To understand the quantum world more deeply, we need to go beyond the idea of individual particles and think about quantum fields. These fields permeate all of space and time, and particles are like ripples or disturbances in these fields. It's a bit like the surface of a pond. The pond itself is the field, and the ripples are the particles. This is the foundation of quantum field theory, a framework that combines quantum mechanics with special relativity. Quantum field theory has led to the development of the standard model of particle, 
physics, which describes the fundamental forces of nature and the elementary particles that make up all matter. It's like a periodic table for the universe, categorizing all the known particles and their properties. There is another mind-blowing idea that cannot be overlooked. We're talking about antimatter. In 1928, British theoretical physicist Paul Dirac introduced an equation known as the Dirac equation, which, in short, suggested that there should be a particle opposite to the electron. Just four years later, this antiparticle, called the positron, was observed and thereby proven by American physicist Carl David Anderson. This means that every particle has an antiparticle with the opposite charge. It's like a mirror image of the universe, where everything is reversed. But even with all our advancements in quantum physics, there are still many mysteries to unravel. What is the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which make up the majority of the universe? What is the true meaning of quantum mechanics? And how does it relate to our everyday experience? And how can we unify quantum mechanics with general relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity? These are some of the biggest questions that physicists are grappling with today. Quantum physics is a field that's constantly evolving, with new discoveries being made all the time. As we continue to explore the quantum realm, we may unlock even more secrets of the universe and create technologies that seem like magic today. From quantum teleportation to quantum cryptography, the possibilities are truly mind-boggling. So, what is quantum physics? It's a journey into the unknown, a realm where the laws of the universe seem to bend and break. It's a world of mystery, wonder, and infinite potential. It's a field that challenges our understanding of reality and opens up a universe of possibilities. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into quantum physics, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-expanding explorations. We've got a whole universe of what is, questions lined up, so stay curious. What are you curious about? Let us know in the comments what topics you'd like to see explained in future episodes. Got any burning questions about quantum physics? Drop those in the comments too. We'll see you in the next episode.